Hey everyone, so after hitting a low of $14.38 on February 24, Polkadot is once again on the rise. Polkadot has recovered significantly from its lows and is currently trading at $22.34. According to CoinMarketCap.com, the 11th largest cryptocurrency and blockchain platform has a $22 billion market. With these figures, it is easy to envision that Polkadot are becoming more and more popular. So there is no imminent threat to Bitcoin's reign as it continues to rank first among cryptocurrencies. However, Polkadot is becoming more popular and possesses a threat to other well-known cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. So, considering this huge praise of Polkadot, I have brought you a fully-fledged video on Polkadot. So keep watching to explore all the interesting concepts regarding. So let's have a look at today's agenda. First, I will take you through what is Polkadot, followed by who is building it. Then I will make you understand the working of Polkadot. And after that, I will take you through connecting dots and what one can do with these dots. Then I will help you figure out why you should consider Polkadot and at last, how staking works on Polkadot. So let's start the video, but before moving ahead, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So let's move on and let me give you a crisp introduction to what is Polkadot. Well, Polkadot is the first fully sharded blockchain, which means it will enable a completely decentralized web where users are in control. Basically, it's designed to link public and permission networks, oracles, private and consortium chains, and yet to be developed future technologies through the Polkadot relay chain. Polkadot enables an internet where separate blockchains can communicate data and transactions in an untrusted manner. Decentralized institutions, services, and apps are now easier to build and link than ever before. Polkadot aims to liberate society from its reliance on a broken web where its powerful institutions cannot betray our confidence by giving entrepreneurs the tools they need to create better solutions. Now, this whole explanation raises a question of who is responsible for building Polkadot. So, let me explain you. The Web3 Foundation, a Swiss organization established to promote a fully functional and user-friendly decentralized web, has made Polkadot its flagship project. Now, to build Polkadot and encourage the creation of the services and apps that will run on it, the Web3 Foundation is collaborating with top-tier organizations. A world-class implementation of Web3 with Polkadot at its core is being developed by researchers from INRIA Paris and ETH Zurich, developers from Parity Technologies and capital partners from cryptocurrency funds like Polychain Capital. In fact, do you know that grants are being offered by the Web3 Foundation for ecosystem growth? Well, so moving on, let me take you through the working of Polkadot. Because so many parachains help the main relay chain with a lot of the heavy lifting, Polkadot is able to analyze all this data. As a result, compared to around 7 for Bitcoin and 30 for Ethereum, the Polkadot network can execute more than 1000 transactions per second. Now, Polkadot should become much faster if the network expands and more parachains are added. And then the speed can reach a million transactions per second as well. Now. Let me take you through a very important aspect of Polkadot network, which is very evident in its name itself, and that is DOT. Now, the native token of the Polkadot network is DOT. Transaction fees, taking, governance, purchasing a parachain space, and enabling a number of crucial Polkadot features may all be done with DOT. Now, these DOTs can be connected in multiple ways, so let's discuss them one by one. First is Relay Chain. It's Polkadot's core aspect and is in charge of the network's interoperability across chains, consensus, and shared security. Second is parachains. Now, these are independent blockchains that are capable of creating their own coins and tailoring their functionality to particular use cases. 
third is Parathread, which is similar to Parachains but uses a pay-as-you-go payment system. Now, blockchains without a constant connection to the network are most more cost-effective. Fourth is Bridges. Now, this enables connections and communication between parachains and parathreads and other networks like Ethereum and Bitcoin. So now that I have already discussed about dots, let me give you a quick overview of how one can use these dots. So if you have one dot, it is bare minimum balance needed to maintain an active Polkadot network account. Now your account will be deleted if the amount falls below one dot. So find out more about accounts and the need for existing deposits. Then we have five dot. To participate in crowd loans for parachain slot auctions, you must make a minimum contribution of this amount. Then we have 10 dot. It is the bare minimum stake necessary to submit your nomination of validators purpose. However, in order to receive staking incentives, your stake must be greater than the dynamic minimum stake among active nominators. Find out how to nominate people. And then it's 20 dot. You can cast a council vote or register an on-chain identity. Now the democracy of Polkadot benefit from DOT to make suggestions to support them and to vote on them when they become referendums. DOT must be bonded. To submit a treasury proposal, 100 DOT in bonds of 5% of the required funds must be provided. Now you may be able to take part in initiatives like the 1000 validators programs thanks to DOT. Now moving ahead, let me tell you about why you should consider Polkadot. So Polkadot provides a platform for everyone regardless of whether you are a blockchain developer or just interested in being a part of the community. This wiki provider a location for builders and maintainers to use tools and for new students to explore educational content. Now let me tell you about how Staking actually works on Polkadot. So in order to protect the network or validate transactions or generate and distribute new DOT, Polkadot uses a proof of stake consensus process. Depending on how much time, technical expertise and money they wish to invest, DOT holders can engage with the staking mechanism in a variety of ways, like validators who do the most work. It's a big commitment and calls for technological expertise. You must maintain a node or one of the computers that makes up the network with little to no downtime and stake a sizable portion of your own dot in order to become a validator. Now you gain the ability to approve valid transactions and add new blocks of the transaction to the relay chain and potentially establish dot while also receiving a cut of transaction fees and tips in return. Next we have is nominators. They enable everyday investors to take part in staking covertly. You can trust a validator to follow the rules if you give them part of your dot. In return, you receive a portion of the dot that your selected validators earn. Now you risk losing some of your stake if your validators violates the rules. So choose carefully. Any of the jobs mentioned above will allow you to stake and participate in the network in order to be eligible for dot awards. Holders of DOTS can vote on proposed software changes and have a say in how the network is run. So this was all about Polka DOTS and its related concepts. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask away in the comment section. Our team will definitely reach you back as soon as possible. Stay safe. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.